I came to know the Lord at the age of 10. I uh, lived in South Africa. Um, I was really good and natural at all kind of evil. And this time I got caught. Uh, about 10 years old, I uh, went to school and had trouble with spelling. Like I have today, my kids will testify for that, that I have a lot of trouble spelling and writing. And those days were no different. So, But I, I solved the problem by basically writing uh, the answers uh, on uh, uh, my leg. And uh, we wore shorts, which kind of hang about halfway down your thigh. And that gave us the ability of writing notes on the in, on the leg, just below the below the shorts. And I, I and I was pretty adapted at that. And um, at this time, uh, I wrote my uh, notes down. And I think it was a spell test, if I'm right. Got home, and somehow or another, my mom noticed these crypt notes that I wrote down on my leg. Unfortunately, I got caught, and a wrath of mom hit me. And, uh, and this is no small matter. She then told me that the answer this time around would not be the usual punishment, but I have to go to my teacher and confess my sins to him. That, that was way worse. I would have taken any kind of punishment other than that. But there I was walking down the street, probably about a kilometer or two away from my home, uh, to Mr. Stain's house. And I remember knocking on his door and he opening the door for me and he said, Hi, Andre, what are you doing here? And I pitched up there and explained to him uh, what is the reason for me being there. Uh, he was not surprised, but um, he then explained to me that this is the way of the world. We're naturally evil. We have the ability to do all kind of evil things. And that day, the Lord, through Mr. Stain, showed me what evil was present in my own life. I realized it wasn't just this sin, but that I was guilty of a whole bunch of other sins. And uh, that I needed the Lord and Savior to save me from these things because I'm guilty and deserving of death. So I'm reading from Luke chapter 12 and um, verse uh, 4 and says the Lord Jesus is speaking to his uh, disciples and to the people around him and he says, I tell you my friends, do not fear those who will kill the body and after that have nothing more that they can do. But I warn you who to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has the authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. That day I realized that I was guilty of more than just crib nodes on my leg. I was guilty of a whole bunch of other things. And I deserved to go to hell. And that's what the fear was. And that day I accepted the Lord Jesus. And today I don't fear him anymore because I'm now his child. And... I am not going to be judged by the Lord anymore in such a way that I'm going to go to hell because of that. And even more further in that scripture was in verse 6 it says, Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? And not one of them is forgotten before, the God, before God. Why? Even the hairs on your head has been numbered. Fear not, you are more of more value than many sparrows. And that's what it was. For suddenly I realized that I have a father that loves me and has so much love for me that he even knows how much hair I have on my head. And because of that, I got into a wonderful relationship with the Lord. It's, it's kind of funny to explain how we can be saved and our hearts be changed and knowing for sure that I am saved. Not just saved, and knowing for sure that the Lord is and that he loves us. And suddenly my heart has been changed completely. And I've got a new heart. In John uh, chapter 3, the Lord speaks to Nicodemus and says, You have to be born again. And that's impossible to understand for anybody through the flesh. But somehow or another, our hearts get changed. And I get a new heart. And that day, that's what happened. I got a new heart. Now I love the Lord Jesus. I know that He is. I know that He is the defender of those that love Him. And that there is a future for me. Other than writing crypt notes on my leg, I know that I am capable of any kind of sin. But the Lord's love and His blood is there to save us all. Amen.